24 so it's not that early we are headed to a green hawk because we have a crazy busy day today some of you guys saw sophie got a really fun mat for her schleich setup and gabby decided last minute that she wants one too so we're headed back to get that Gabby and Sophie are both gonna shoot videos today. I have a video that I need to shoot today. I have three videos to edit. No, I have two videos to edit today. The life of a YouTuber is so busy. And it's been two days since we saw our girl. Two days, and I don't know about the rest of you guys, but when we haven't seen her for a while, I feel sick. I just feel sick, like disconnected. And if I'm feeling disconnected, she's probably feeling disconnected too. So uh, it's still super cold out. Uh, we're not going to be able to ride her yet, but we are going to go and see her and visit her and we're going to share with you guys some stuff that we really haven't talked too much about in our videos about the conditions um, that we have our horse in at our barn. There's a name place. We need one of those. What's it say? Hello. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Hi, Sam. Hi. <laughs> Watching you guys on... Oh, oh. makes me watch every day. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ted. Hi. Shelby's the little one over here. Oh. Okay, you guys, we are in Green Hawk, and we're just about to meet a little girl that watches our videos. And your name is Shelby. Hi, Shelby. It's so nice to meet you. Hey, guys. They're like, wait, what's happening over here? <laughs> this is Shelby. Hi. What are you getting here today? Uh, Schleich. Guess what they're getting? Schleich. <laughs> Oh, are you getting a horse blanket too? Yeah, so, did it's you get cool. something super special for Christmas this year? What did you get? A horse. You got a horse. What kind? Um, a pink. Oh, you're living my dream. I wanted a horse, a pink horse for Christmas. Sophie. She watches our videos. Isn't that cool? Religiously. Oh, that's amazing. I feel like I have to give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. All right, so this is her new horse, and her name is Shawnee. Yeah, she's so pretty. I love that big white stripe down her nose. That's my favorite kind of look. So guess what? You guys are only a year apart. She's only one year younger than you. Isn't that cool? Look how tiny you are and look how tall you are. Stand together. Because people are always like, how tall is Gabby? They're a year apart and this is how much difference they are. You're one year older. Her birthday's in April, the very beginning of April, and yours is the very end of April. Oh, yeah. So she'll be 10 while you're still 10. Super cool, right? Yeah. You're picking up four Schleich? How many Schleich do you already have? Um, a lot. I can't kill, but I don't have that many. Not too many. So you guys just saw um, we finally met a subscriber at Green Hawk and it was amazing. You know how when you meet somebody and you totally connect and relate right away, that's exactly how it was for us. That um, This little family was the perfect family to be our first subscriber meetup. <laughs> We're at the barn and we just came in to get some stuff that we need to take down to the barn with us. And a Gabby is snooping in somebody else's locker because it was just sitting there, but Look she it. saw Tex's new saddle pad. It's it your dream so color, isn't it? It's reversible, yeah. it's so gorgeous. I my dream the thing I hate about it is that no, It's a totally different kind than ours. <laughs> ours is super thick. Ours is shed row and hers. Ours is shed row and what brand is that? Ledia? Uh, Ledia? Ledia, yeah. It's so nice. So that's your dream color. That's the color you're going to pick when you get a gelding, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's the color, basically. The water's all frozen. Look at the... See, look, the wings, too. What, what are those tracks? Oh. Wild turkeys, you guys. The wings are clapping them in. And their wings, they're flapping their wings around. Ah. Like they're looking for water. <laughs> yeah, everybody's looking for water. All right, Hi, so really? we are walking down to see Sabrina. It's still icy out. Oh, track. I'm literally frozen. Lots of track. Lots of but it is about, whew, it's about minus 15 right now and it's really cold. And that's half of how cold it's been. It's been, it's, it's been minus 40, you guys. I'm not gonna oh, lie, it's been super cold. 
Anyway, so we're not gonna ride. Whew. So cold. Um, but we wanted to share. I've seen a bunch of comments lately about people who are really concerned about the conditions that Sabrina and the other horses are having to endure. And I wanted to talk about them a little bit because I understand where you guys are coming from. And when Sam and I decided to get a horse, we actually were really nervous about the whole winter part of it because literally in Canada, winter can shut down life in Canada. It is so cold here, you guys. A lot of people who aren't from here, it would be really hard for you to understand what life is like here, and especially for horses and other animals. Right through the trees, as soon as we came around the bend, all we see is a big purple blanket. They all look happy, you guys. They're still having hay, that means they just came out not long ago. And they have water. They have water. Yeah. I could tell because Journey took a big drink and turned around and dripped water all over the place. I also wanted to address the water situation. I know a lot of you guys are feeling frustration for us and we are too because it's really stressful having a horse and worrying about how much water they're going to get. Obviously, eating snow is not, an, is not enough to replace the water that they need, but it is a real issue where we live it's something that happens and even if you have a solar water heater or even electric water heaters i've been reading up on them they only go to a certain temperature oh tex has a new blanket Ooh, wow well, that's a nice one he's got two blankets but he got one his winter blanket has a neck band so sabrina's got her old blanket on and she's got this one on two blankets now Wait, she has two blankets on? Yep. Yeah. Oh, when did you bring this one over? Fiona came and got it. Fiona came all the way to our house and picked it up because we weren't able to come out the same night that we bought that. There was a reason why we couldn't get one with a neck. But hopefully the two blankets... Hi! Oh, she poked herself. Hopefully the two blankets yeah, that she does it. have are okay for her. She's like, I know you. You bring me treats. Our poor neglected girl. <laughs> She's like, I smell you got something in your yeah, pocket. One of the concerns about our barn is the lack of hay in the fields. I know it's really hard for you guys to get an accurate assessment of what actually goes on at our barn because we're only there at certain times of the day and those are the times of the day that we video what's going on at the barn. The horses are fed twice a day, which is pretty much what most of the barns in our area do. In the morning, they get grain and supplements in their stall, and then they are turned out into the field and given piles of hay. They're given a lot of hay in the morning. It's scattered into all different piles so that all the horses can just graze naturally and there's no fighting about who's getting what food. The reason that you never see that is because we're never there in the morning at feeding time and I've never had the opportunity to video it. In the evening, the horses are all fed in their stalls and given grain and supplements again as well. Definitely not ideal, but this is the way it's done here. I have seen many, many farms do it this way. I've also seen some farms, a friend of mine, that has a big, huge round bale in the field 24 seven. Their horses graze all day and they don't get grain, they don't get supplements, and they don't get blankets. When we have a farm, that's the route that we're going to do because of all of our research and from listening to all of the things that you guys have told us and taught us, we feel that it's going to be better for our horse. This is where we are now. and We have to make the best of what we have. And I just wanted to share a little bit of what it's like where we live because I know that we don't show everything in our videos so it's really hard to get a clear idea of what really goes on and also that unless you live here and you experience it for yourself being in Canada in winter is a whole other world like it is something you can read about but until you've experienced these extreme temperature issues that we have here it is so hard to imagine. So if he's tolting Jasmine, what are you doing? That's Sabrina. Sabrina, what are you doing? Got Sabrina right beside me. She okay. wants treats. I know, I didn't bring any treats. I gave uh, all the treats Spend to your mom and she hide them in her purse. There. Hide her in her purse and eat some on me.
I hope that helped explain things a little bit. I have been really appreciating all of your comments and all of your questions and all of your suggestions. Sophia actually has an, a real Christmas bunny today. Her bunny has on, here put him down, has on the cutest little Christmas dress and he's like, <laughs> help, help, she's dressed me in a Christmas dress. Our old bunnies, we used to put clothes on them too, just like our dogs. And they adapted really fast. Look at how cute they are, you guys. This guy is more scared, and this guy is more outgoing. Do you love your bunny? Yeah. Yeah, he's the cutest, huh? I love that we could fix oh. him up. Yeah, I love that we fixed him. He's getting chubby! He is, you guys. He's gained so much weight since we got him, since Sam fixed his teeth. Even though they look the same, we literally have had no trouble trying to keep them apart. Mine has more gray on, on his ears than Gabby's. Does, is that really true? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's got more gray for sure on his ears. But I always know because he's smaller and because, look, he's like, you have food? We're going to take you, you down and give you food. If you uh, look at his butt, he has it's more gray, gray on his butt. And then Gabby's is more white. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's why I love my bunny. Don't <laughs> That's what happens. You trained him to eat from your hands yesterday, and now he's like, give me some food. He remembers. You remember you're so smart. His lip is healing up. Let's show his, his lip. Let, that's his choice. If you want to come here. <laughs> if you guys can see his little lip there, it's a lot more healed up. Still looks like a little bump there, but there's a bunny climbing up my back. <laughs> I can find and there's him. a bunny that eats me. I have been hating them outside, out in the sunroom. I've been hating it. Like I was saying before about our horses, um, you got people who don't live in Canada, honestly, it, it's so cold here that I'm freezing right now. I'm so cold. Even though our heat is turned up, it's nice and toasty warm in our house, but when you're outside, you get chilled all the way down deep into your bones because it's that cold out there and you cannot warm up. It takes hours and hours or I end up having a bath every single night because I'm so cold. And I don't want that for them, so I, I just don't want to bring them in though and them to lose all their warm fur and then stick them back out there. So I don't know, I, I'm working with Sam, we're trying to figure out a way because we don't really have any room inside the house for them, but I hate them outside. I hate them being out there. We've been able to fill up their water no problem every couple of hours and it hasn't been freezing over. But still, I just don't want them outside anymore. Plus, I like them being around family and getting used to us and being a part of our family. I feel like they should sleep in, a, in my room. I think you should sleep in your room? Yeah. Like I could uh, sleep with my bunny in my bed in my room. Do you want to sleep with your owner? You want to sleep with her? He's like, yes, yeah, so I can eat her. <coughs> They're so curious, huh? Uh-huh. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.